Hello friends, Oppenheimer, the latest film by British cineast Christopher Nolan was released in India on Friday, 21st July 2023. I happened to see it in cinema on the very first day of its release. Welcome to Cinema Poet 2008, a unique YouTube channel for popularizing the world cinema. My name is Lalit Rao, I'm a film critic with Fibrisky and in today's video I'm going to carry out a discussion about this film Oppenheimer. So my dear friends and cinephiles, I have written an article of 10 points and I'm going to read out these 10 points to tell you about Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is a different type of a biopic. It doesn't aim to glorify the protagonist's achievements. It has taken a neutral stance in which appropriate care has been taken to delineate both J. Robert Oppenheimer's achievements and weaknesses. While watching this film, Viewers learn why Oppenheimer's name as the father of the atomic bomb is still very relevant in contemporary times as we live in a world with nine countries that are nuclear powers. In the film Oppenheimer, British writer Christopher Nolan shows us how a man of science is treated in USA especially the loyalty of a scientist to USA is always under constant surveillance there are there are a very few comic scenes in this film it is more easily recognizable as a heady mix of espionage history politics and suspense. Although Oppenheimer is a film about a specialized subject namely quantum physics, Oppenheimer is relatively free of abstruse scientific jargon. This makes it easy for any layman to appreciate and understand the film and its underlying message. British cineast Christopher Nolan is known for his blockbusters and Oppenheimer firmly establishes itself as an overbearing drama film that might be hailed as his best oeuvre so far. That there is only a very brief mention of the sacred Hindu scripture Bhagavad Gita in the entire film might come as a rude shock to many Indians, especially those who claim to be devout Sanatanis. In Oppenheimer, various discussions at regular intervals about communism don't carry any shock value as most intellectuals of those times had communist leanings or sympathies. Devout cinephiles would remember Oppenheimer as a film about the emotional as well as ethical dilemmas faced by the man of science. Lastly, my dear friends and ladies and gentlemen, Famous American director and screenwriter Paul Schrader has been generous in his praise of Oppenheimer. He says that Oppenheimer is the best, most important film of this century. He says that if you see one film in cinemas this year, it should be Oppenheimer. So, my dear friends, keep on watching Cinema Poet 2008 for more interesting videos about world cinema. This is your host and film critic with Vipreski, Lalit Rao, saying 
Thank you very much to you for having watched this video. Thanks a lot.